I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be dead honest here. I haven't seen anything about Ambessa. Anything. That's my time. Anything. I've just seen people put riot posts everywhere. I saw the Aram Bridge rework and I was like, damn. Time to play against Ambessa as an ADC. Oh my freaking god. No, 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 I'm done. <laughs> oh. What? What? Dash. Dash. Oh my dash. freaking god. Dash. No, no. What? She dashed four times. What? No, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, like once you. That's the snowball, right? Was that the snowball? It was right. Yeah, like once you're on me. Once you're on me, I literally can't do anything. No. No. Like, am I bad or is it the cam? Well, it's a mixture of both. The champ does look OP though. What do you mean, says me? It looks like Kalista or some shit. Does she have a dash on every auto attack? Actually, let's watch the spotlight. Medarda, the Noxian general, is coming to League of Legends. She's a very mobile fighter that uses energy to cast her Is she her a top abilities. laner? I guess she's a top laner, her right? Her primary role is top laner, but she might also be viable in the jungle. She has plenty of AoE damage and can also use 5 dashes in just a few seconds. Definitely looking like a 200 years champion. So who goes into the riot office one day and says, Hmm, we need to make a new champ. Pork, what was a successful man. champ that we released recently? Kasante? What should we Mark make a champ words, similar to? Kasante? Okay, let's have a look at her gameplay while I'll explain to you her abilities. Ambessa's passive is called Drakehound Step. Entering an attack or movement command while casting an ability will cause Ambessa to dash a short distance once the ability is cast. Casting an ability... What? Every attack or every spell? Explain to you her abilities. Ambessa's passive is called Drakehound Step. Entering an attack or movement command while... Entering an attack or movement command, what? So every auto attack as well, you get a dash? No. Casting an ability oh, casting will ability. cause Ambessa to dash a short distance once the ability is cast. Casting an ability grants her next attack bonus range, damage, attack speed, and also refunds energy. Who made this? Why? As Riot is saying, mastering the usage of her passive is one of the most important things for like playing Silas, Ambessa kind of. well. Then we have Q, it's called Cunning Sweep, Sundering Slam. Ambessa sweeps her Drake Hounds in a semicircle in front of her, dealing bonus damage to enemies hit by the blades. Striking an enemy will transform the next cast of this ability for a short period of time, causing her to slam her Drake Hounds down in a line in front of her, dealing bonus damage. So you can Q, auto dash, Q, auto dash. Damage to the first enemy hit. Ambessa's W is called Repudiation. Ambessa gains a shield, briefly braces herself, and then slams the ground to damage nearby enemies. <laughs> if she blocked any non-minion damage while bracing herself, this ability will deal increased damage. Ah. Ambessa's E is called Lacerate. She whips her twin drag hounds around herself, damaging and slowing nearby enemies. Initiating her passive from this ability causes her to strike a second time at the end of its dash. Ambessa's ult is called Public Execution, Ambessa blinks to the furthest enemy filed? in the line of her choosing and suppresses them upon her arrival. She then slams the enemy into the ground where they take damage and are also stunned. Remember, this ability is a skill shot similar to Yoni's ult. WHO MAKES THIS DOG SHIT?! Since a lot of Ambessa's damage comes from her abilities, not her auto attacks, she should be losing in extended fights. Assuming you can get to her, because as you notice, she is a very mobile champion and her dashes honestly aren't that short either. Just imagine playing an AD carry like Lucian here and trying to survive her. Trying to kite Ambessa, especially a fed one, is definitely going to be interesting. Kinda looking like trying to run away from Kassadin. As Riot is saying, to counter her in teamfights, use the crowd control for her. <laughs> That's <laughs> such a... Oh, you want to kill her? Well, just fucking CC her, man. Just stun her. Just... It's not... Just stun her. It's that simple.
to me she's definitely looking like another 200 years champion. Let me know what do you guys think about her. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. What I don't understand is like Cassante has been complained about for two years straight. Two years and he's dominating pro play. Dash. And they've made a champ in top lane that's like... It looks equally as broken and similar in the sense that like W is a jump with a shield or... You know, ult transports her fucking halfway across the map to stun and suppress someone. And she has auto attack range and attack speed and fucking Feeling bonus dashes and all that shit. Like, how do we fucking... Oh, I get it! It's just come to me. It's just come to me, chat. This is the League of Legends community. This is Cassante. They're looking at Cassante. It's OP. They're yapping. OP, it's OP. Riot makes Ambessa. Now everyone's heads turn this way. It's OP, it's OP. And then Cassante disappears from everyone's complaints. Why well, should actually read the tooltips now a bit? Entering an attack or movement command while casting ability will cause Ambessa to dash to a short distance. Once the ability is cast, casting ability grants her a next attack, bonus range, damage, and attack speed, and it refunds her energy. Damn. I mean, Nasus does gain 12% lifesteal. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Ambessa sweeps her twin Drake Hound in a semicircle in front of her, dealing bonus damage and use ability based random chance from the next cast on this ability for a short period of time. I guess if you dodge her Q1, she doesn't get Q2, right? So that does hurt her a bit. Dealing bonus damage the first enemy hit. Looks a bit looks a bit hard to dodge, right? Because it doesn't have a cast time. Unless that sweeps her twin Drake. Oh, okay, right. This champ looks like a pretty good poke champ. Like short traits. Unless I gain the shield, briefly brace herself, and then slams the ground to. Can you jump over walls with that if she blocked and any non minion? Can you jump over walls with her passive? No. So none of her spells get her over walls other than her ult. That's actually quite nice then. The fact that she can't go over walls is actually pretty difficult. That 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 stings a bit. That's actually big. If she blocked any non-minion damage while bracing herself, this ability will deal increased damage. Okay. Yeah, Poppy looks quite good against this champ, but I think even like Jarvan like can kind of work. Or dashes. And Mesa whips her twin Drake Hounds around herself, damaging and stunning enemies. Initiating Drake Hound step from this ability causes her to strike a second time at the end of the dash. It's like Silas, bro, I swear. I'm, it's like Silas E, kind of. Just without the chain. And Mesa blinks at the farthest enemy champion in line and choosing her rival suppresses them upon arrival. And then she slams them into the ground where they take damage and then are stunned. It's crazy. Um, like, look at that Lucian. How do you kite this thing? How do you kite it then? I mean, it makes sense why they didn't kill her, right? Like, they just they just needed to CC her, right? Like, the, how stupid are they, these fuckers? Where's the no, where's the no caps? Where's the CC at? The <laughs> oh my god, Jesus! Well, how many dashes can Ambessa do in thirty seconds?
19 dashes in 30 seconds. Showmaker needs to drop a copy pasta ASAP. But the Q1 hitbox is weird. You see that? I thought the Q, when I saw it, the hitbox was this. And that you could dodge into her by standing here. But I think it hits everything in front of her, doesn't it? Oh, that's just a sweet spot. But if she hits, she hits anywhere. Like if she still, if you run into her and avoid the bonus damage, she still gets Q2, right? Okay, well, that's all that really matters, I think. Obviously, the damage is nice, but the Q2 is important. Drop time. So my first thought is like this champ just looks like in team fights. That's what it looks like. Or it's just me. Like that is actually what it just looks like in team fights, or am I fucking crazy? During the layer, otherwise lock out the best abilities and unpick attack and move closer to dash in the direction of target. I mean, Vex top sounds kind of good against this champ, no? <laughs> Whenever Ambessa casts ability, she generates a stack of Merada Maxim. After the ability, respective lockout for four seconds, refreshing the subsequent cast and stacking up to three times. Merada Maxim. Ambessa's next basic attack on attack is empowered to have uncancelable windup, gain 100 bonus range and 50% bonus attack speed, and consume a stack to deal like 515 base uh, plus 25% bonus AD and restore your energy base on your level. Okay. Her Q is the whip thing. If it hits one enemy, Ambessa can cast Sunring Slam within the next three seconds. Against jungle monsters, Cunning Sweep deals 50 to 70 bonus physical damage, and the damage based on their health ratio is capped at 100 300. Okay. After 0 0.25 second cast, she slams her blaze in a line target direction doing physical damage hit and doubled against the first enemy hit. Sundering Slam deals bonus damage to monsters as well. And it's also capped. Yeah, so it's scaling off bonus AD. And... The target's max health. Mm, yeah, this is a Black Cleaver champ, right? Anything that has like... Anything that's like brucery, tanky, max healthy... You just kind of go Black Cleaver on this champ. After a 0 0.5 second delay, Ambessa smashes the ground beneath her, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies. This is the W, just scales off. Scales off 50% bonus AD. That's it. If it's used to perform Dragon's Dash, wait, if, rep, if Repudiation is used to perform Dragon's Dash, she'll smash into the ground at the end of the dash instead of after the delay. Wait, so you can. If Reputation is used to perform Dracon Steps Dash, she will smash in the ground at the end of the dash instead of after the delay. Wait, so can you dash W? No, you W into dash. But if you W into dash, you can redirect where the slam hits. So I can W dash and then it hits here. I wonder if you can redirect it or if you're stuck into like a locked direction. You probably can redirect it, right? W isn't a dash. I know, I know it's not a dash, but it kind of looks like a dash, doesn't it? It's kind of like a mini dash, no? That's the dash with the passive. Is that the da I see. Wait, hold up. So that W jump is her passive, or? So if you don't use your passive, you can just W on top of yourself, I guess? She slashes deal physical damage to nearby enemies and slow them for 99%. Uh, wait, what? Slash the physical damage to my enemies and slows them by 99% decaying over one second. What? 
And Bessa is unable to act for 0.3 seconds after casting last rage. She may perform Dragos Dash after this lockout by inputting a command during it or by doing it within 0.2 seconds of the lockout ending the dash immediately. This champ just like, sounds like Silas on crack. It just sounds like a bruiser Silas with more dashes with, and a suppress. And fucking hell. And Bessa, wait, passive. She has a passive on her ult. She gains armor penetration. 10, 20, 30%, and heals herself. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> and heals herself for a percentage of the post mitigation damage dealt to enemies, reduced 25% against minions and 40% versus monsters. What is it with heals yourself for post damage mit mitigation damage? I, this is swear, this is like a new trend on champions. So our healing percent is 10, 12.5, plus 50% lifesteal. The items proc her passive. So like if I use uh, Stride Breaker, do I get a proc on my dash? No, don't know. It's only abilities. She prepares to strike in a line in the target direction, then blinks behind the farthest enemy within the area to seize them. If she successfully seizes, her ult does look like it could miss quite easily though. She suppresses them for 0.8 seconds during which she reveals them and picks them up off the ground to go like, I can see a world where this champ, if she misses Q1 or misses ult, she's just a fucking bot in fights. But yeah, I mean, if you're good, then you'll land your ult. Just play better. Um, and Bessa attaches herself to them and suppresses them 0 0.8 seconds when she reveals them and picks them off the ground afterwards to crash them down, doing physical damage and stunning them 0 0.6 seconds. And Bessa is displacement immune and unable to act during the cast time, and while the target is suppressed, lingering for 0 0.1 seconds afterwards, does 150 base damage is 100%. This champ looks strong, man. It's quite hard. It, it, this champ is a champ where if it gets uptime on you, you're fucked. But she's very her 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 way of entering fights isn't that good because all of her dashes come off hitting spells. So if she can't get in range to hit you, she can't enter fights. So like against champs like you know like Yasuo and the likes, she's probably gonna eat them alive. But against champs like Esriel. Yeah, her ult, her ult is her only entry. Her ult is literally her only entry. If this ult whiffs or misses or it's not hitting enemy AD or something, it's actually kind of hard for her to enter fights. She's just kind of like a walking hitbox. She doesn't need to hit her spells to dash. What are you going to do? Like E and then dash forwards and E and dash forwards again and then try and get on top of them? I don't know. Like, in my head, my impression is that this champ sounds absolutely OP against bruisers and tanks. But her entry into fights can be quite hard by the sounds of it. Was like, similar to any bruiser, right? Like, Darius and shit, but... Uh, yeah. It's kind of like a Silas on crack with more dashes. But she has, like, for example, like, Darius as a champion is hard to play in pro play because... You need the right angle in your lane for, for a matchup, but also Darius can get poked and kited really easily. This champ sounds like it falls under a similar category, but um, her entry into the fights is a bit more reliable than Darius. Way more reliable. What's the best way to describe her? I don't know. I feel like she's Riven, but she's like a way tankier version of Riven in my head. <laughs> 